Yo, what's up everybody? I'm 12G's Gaming. As you may or may not already know, my name is Smith, and today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. Today we are going back to a game that I've posted on this channel before, but I haven't put any light to in a long time. Or at least it's been a long time for me, anyway. Kerbal Space Program. Now, uh, if you want to know what Kerbal Space Program is, go and check out some of my older stuff. But basically, what we're going to be doing today is I'm just going to get straight into it. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a type of glider in Kerbal Space Program. So, you'll first need, well, as we all know, some form of cockpit. I'm going to do this one. Why this one? Because it's more open in my opinion. If we rem if you're a long time fan of Kerbal Space Program, you'll remember that this thing you couldn't originally see out of. Anyway, so what you're going to want to do is, if you're trying to make a glider that's light enough, I found that if you use fuselage, because it's hollow, it actually doesn't add that much weight to it. Unlike how most people will just straight up go on ahead and use something like this. So there's a little tip for you that if you're trying to make a really light aircraft like a boat or something, like maybe a boat plane, you know, a seaplane, use fuselage or hull, whatever you like to call it. Now, in order to make the glider-like thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bunch of fuselage and I'm just going to connect it up. So I'm going to cut right here and I'm going to go to the point where I have the whole fuselage all put together. Alright everybody, as you can see, I have turned on the um, little icons right here, center of mass, center of thrust, center of lift. This actually helps you with um, trying to make it. Now as you can see, it's nothing but a straight up hollow tube right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the aerodynamics tab and these advanced nose cones. You're going to want type B for the back, and I'll show you why in a minute. Use the WASD keys to turn it around and put it right there. Now anyone that has done anything with aviation can tell why I did that. Anyway, and you're going to use the type A or anything shorter for the nose cone. In fact, what I would prefer to do is that. So I'm going to just simply take this away. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I am going to, if I remember from how a glider looks, I am going to go and pick, well not that, this right here. I'm going to angle it so that way it's just about perfectly in a line. I think that's too tall. Yeah, it's too tall. Let me see if there's a shorter one. Okay, there's not a shorter one. So I'm just going to keep on going and I'm going to take these and I'm going to go, uh, Q and E, and I'm going to just put it about right up here on the top. Now you can do this with bigger airliners, and just to make this a little bit simpler, I'm going to go over here to the tool tab, and I'm just going to scoot this a little bit further down, somewhat forward. Well, then it doesn't match. I'm going to put it about. Okay, I'm going to raise it up a little bit. I want it to go all the way to the edge. There we go. Now, that doesn't really look like a glider tail, but it'll do. If anything, it'll either turn into a private jet, or it'll turn into a glider like it's supposed to be. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... You could use these as glider wings, which, honestly, I recommend doing. But it's not what I'm going to do. I am going to take these, and I'm going to make my own wings. So, I'm going to cut right quick to where I have the wings put in place. Alright, so I'll see you in a bit. Alright everybody, I'm back. I've uh, gotten the wings done and I've taken care of the, um, the... I'm sorry if I get this wrong, I got it wrong last time. Ailerons, I think is what you call them. It's what I've put here. At first I went with these uh, wings right here that have ailerons on them. I think that's what they're called. Hold on a minute. Um, never mind. Anyway, what I first put on were these tail fin things, and I kind of like it because it gives it the logo of your flag on them. These are supposed to be... Wait a minute, right here. 
Oh, Elevon. Okay. I think I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Anyway, it's these. And this is basically the finished product. Now, as you can see, the wings and stuff are not exactly in line. And you know what? I don't really care. We're just going to see how this thing does. If this doesn't work, all I have to do is just rearrange the rearrange the wings and it'll be good. I also added some extra stabilization. I don't know if that's going to affect it too much or not. But anyway, and I was going to save the wheels for last. So here's what I'm going to do. To make it as basically as much as the same as usual, or what am I even saying? What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off symmetry and I'm going to put one of these down. And there we go. Now the glider part, or not the glider part, the way you get it up there, well, what you do is you take these. Where are they? Um, you take one of these, you, or two of them technically, and you put them on the side, like that. What you need to do is you need to take these and you need to put them right there. And then you take these two solid fuel rocket boosters of your choice, small, medium, or long. I'm going to go with small. I'm just going to stick these right here on the side. What I want to do is I want to try to get it in line with that. There we go. Now there's no need to really do anything with them, you just gotta put them there, and when you get up high enough, you just, you know, take them away. Now I'm also going to save it, I already took care of the name, okay, and we're going to try this out. Now just to keep it up straight, or straight enough, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two of these wheels and I'm just going to put them right here. No, that's too low. Um, I guess put them right here, kind of at an angle or something. That'll... But... Oh, give me a second. Alright, I fixed it. Alright, so we're going to, once again, save it. Those wheels in the back are just for the fact that it will probably fall over. Alright, now these wings are only shredded to right there, so let's just see how this goes. Alright, we're in. And the reason I made them that long is because I wanted to make it like an actual glider where the wings bend. Okay, so here we go. Who goodness, the wings. Hey, it's working. Oh my god, it worked. This is the first time, too, and look at that bend. You see the slight bend of the wings? It's actually working. Man, you'd think I'm going to break the sound barrier at this point. The thing about gliders is, is they're a small hull, they're a small fuselage with really long wings. Who can just shape? And then once you get that far, you let them go. They just hit each other. Now what you can do, you can, oh wow, that bend. However, I don't think the wings are supposed to do that. Now the center of lift is actually lower than the center of mass, which is not really that good. But like I said earlier, I didn't really care. Goodness, the wings are so big, it's actually stopping it midair. Okay. This thing might be just too heavy to be a glider, I don't know. Anyway. Well, in my opinion, it's actually quite a success. Let's land this. I don't care that it's going the wrong way. We're just going to try to land this and see what we can do with it. But let me give you a little bit of the uh, science I know behind this. Um, I found in my own time and practice that by making the wings longer than the fuselage you can actually get better airlift out of it 
And I'm sure I probably didn't need these right here that are highlighted, but eh, anyway. Well, besides these two little wheels in the back just to keep it straight, I think it's actually pretty accurate. Now the wings, of course, they're not, you know, at an exact angle like they should be, or at a straight angle like they should be. I just sort of did it like this because they do have a slight curve to them. Design it like a bird. Maybe I should call this thing the Owl Glider or something. Anyway, this also gives me the chance to talk about something that I also want to add to the channel. Um, for, Ker for Kerbal Space. For Kerbal Space Program. What I want to do is I want to get you guys in on this. And what I want you to do, and it's perfectly fine, it doesn't matter what you say that you want me to do with this. I just want to know what you want me to try and make on this game. Not on this game, in this game. And what I was about to say was, is that I want you to tell me what you want me to build. This is exactly why I wanted it. See how open it is? Okay, here we go. And the wings are so big, it's kind of hard to keep this thing to go down. Keep this thing to go down? What? I don't know what I'm saying anymore. And... There we go. It's actually bouncing. No, it's not even bouncing anymore. Great. Oh, I hit something. Oh. Well, I'm sure it can still fly, but anyway. <laughs> so, all you people out there that are watching this, you heard what I said. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to share it. It really helps the channel out. Don't forget to subscribe. It means so much to me. It also allows me to know that you actually enjoy the stuff I make. I know I've already said it, but if you like the video, it allows me to know that you want more of this, and it also motivates me to make more videos like this for you guys. Now that I look at it like this, it's going to probably be better that way. Anyway, so wherever you are, God bless you. I hope you're having a good morning, evening, afternoon, or night, and I'll see you again soon.